you get back to my apartment area. And then if anyone's there, No, it was just an extremely hard-fought game. Um, I thought it was a tale of two halves, really. Uh, we had four, uh, 12, I think, turnovers in the first half and only two in the second half. We did a lot better handling their pressure, and um, you know, it was just a hard-fought game. Disappointing, to say the least, but um, it is what it is. I'd say a fighting job you guys did. You know, down 17, I think 11 minutes left, get within three and had a shot. I think they would get within one or it'd be tied at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah, it was, I mean, I was really proud of the team and the way they worked to get themselves back into it. Um, Heidi Schlegel obviously played a, a really great game. Um, I thought our guards stepped up in the second half again to take care of the basketball, but uh, we just, they're so physical and athletic, they can get you out of your comfort zone in a hurry, and that's what they did in the first half. And, you know, they got a quick start, and then as soon as we settled down and took care of the ball, I mean, we came right back and I think cut it to six or something, and then we went on a run where we turned it over like five of seven possessions, and it went right up to... 12 or 14, and then it's a 16-point lead at half, and it's really hard to come back on a, on a good team like Green Bay. John Kelly Luke obviously has a hot start today, yeah. which he did Wednesday. I mean, did you ever expect this? From you know her? what? It's, it's hard. you got to pick your poison with them, and I think she's shooting – you know, 19 or 18 percent from three in conference, and she comes out and makes the first two. It's it's you know it's frustrating, but uh, it's she's a great player. You know, I I coached them, Megan and her, and know how tough they are, and um, I expect it no less for in, you know for her to step up in in big games, and um, she did a great job today from both outside and inside. You obviously knew it was going to be a lot better game than what happened at your place two weeks ago. I mean, that's as bad as you get, right? You know, you hope, you hope, you hope it would be. Um, and again, I was proud of the team. It's I'm not into moral victories, though. I'm disappointed we lost because I felt like if we had a decent first half, we could have won the game. Um, but we we didn't. Their defense forced us into a bunch of turnovers, and that's why they won, and that's why they're moving on, and we're not. Real quick, what do you think of your prospects? Obviously, RPI's up there. And yeah, well, I mean, we were like a 70, I don't know, 76 RPI, 77, something around there. And it's not going to hurt us necessarily losing to Green Bay, especially close. So we'll see. I mean, we would love to be, um, be in postseason play, and we just got to kind of wait, wait it out, just like everyone else, and see what happens. Is there to become a right state fan on Sunday, knowing that hey, this could be the year for two bids with this league for the NCAA? <sighs> Um, you know what, I don't, I don't really, yeah, if it helps us get in, you know, I would love to see Wright State, but again, I recruited, you know, a lot of the girls on this team, and I know how great of kids they are and how hard they work, so, um, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to cheer against them, so I guess, you know, for, for us getting into, getting into postseason, you know, yes, but um, I just think it's going to be a great game, they're both teams are, are very talented and well coached, so. Um, it should be a, a great game. I would say contrast the style of the whole team. You know, what they can <laughs> yeah. the ball it's unbelievable how well, how good Mingo is, and you know they're they're a scene. I mean, we have seven freshmen on our team, and you know it showed when when the pressure and the crowd got into it. Um, so the, f the future, I'm excited about it. But like Wright State has you know four or five seniors. Uh, you know they're they're very seasoned. Cleveland State was too. Um, I think Megan Lucan, you know she's one of the best ever to play at Green Bay. You know, she all-time assist leader and tough, and those those players can get you to the championship game. And um, you know, again, it's just I'm gonna watch it. That's for sure. What has Heidi meant to this program? You know, Heidi's just such a, a leader, and um, both on and off the court, a hard worker. She's an example. She sets an example that you want all of your, your kids to follow. Um, she takes the young players under her wing and, and leads them in the right direction and just shows what hard work and being a good person can do for for herself and the program. I mean, the, it was 0-30. The program was 0-30 when she signed, you know, so she's taken it from there to, you know, her last two out of three years, 20 win seasons, which is pretty amazing. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Yep.